Giva Karja. Hello, my friends, and you're very welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver, episode 41. So, last time we wrapped up here in Blackthorn City, I did just pop into the Pokemon Center in between recording to grab Typhlosion. So, I've swapped out Pidgey for Typhlosion so that we can train him up. Um, we don't have Fly, but I will. I will go back and get him when we need to fly somewhere but we're all done here in Blackthorn City we've done the gym leader we've done the dragon's den so now I'm gonna head south to the route down here and we're gonna fight some trainers and make our way through part of this route anyway route 45 I have already been down here doing some training as I explained in the last episode so there's a couple trainers we've already fought that I kind of didn't have a choice um, I'm trying to decide which way to go which is the best way to go there's multiple ways to go in this route and I would like to try and cover everything so I might have to go down one way fly back to the top and uh, go down a different way I'm not sure which way to go right now maybe we'll go right we'll go right and then uh, we'll work our way left so let's fight this guy what are your thoughts on raising Pokemon Ace Trainer Ryan, he's got two Pokemon, a Pidgeot, okay. I've started with Lapras, although his level is so low. Level 25, what the hell? Uh, we'll go for an Ice Beam, this should be super effective. And Pidgeot is down. So all of our team are at level 39, except for Scyther, I think, is at level 40. Ooh, I'm gonna switch, you know what, because... Uh, Electables, yeah, we'll switch to Pupitar, I think. So everyone's at level 39, so I'm at least wanting to get everyone to level 40. Um, but at least, you know, we're, we're just going to keep going from there and keep training as much as we can, because next up is the, uh, the Elite Four in the Pokemon League. Now, we do have a while before we get there. We've got some things to do in between, like uh, Lugia and Victory Road and all that all that route so that's gonna be uh, another little while at least want to train the team you know it's close to level 50 I gotta double check the levels at the Pokemon League because I can't remember I get mixed up between all the games so I can't remember who's uh, who's at what level but uh, based on whatever their levels are um, I'm thinking around level 50 should be good although I do want Tyranitar that's the only thing so you've won my respect I do want Tyranitar. Um, I see you're raising your Pokemon with care. The bond you build will save you in tough situation. situations. <laughs> situations. I do want Tyranitar though, so we might have to go a little bit higher because uh, Pupitar evolves at level 55 into Tyranitar. So, okay, that guy I may have fought already, but uh, we will keep going for now. We'll keep going down this way on the right hand side. We'll grab this item, and it's a max potion. Keep heading through this grass. Let's see if there's anything to catch. I don't think... Yeah, Graveler. We already have a Graveler, so... I'm just gonna run. I don't think it's worth... Well, let me see. Let me just see what a Surf does and let's see... Well, I know Surf's gonna do it, but let's just see how much experience we get from this wild battle. Uh, is it worth doing? Okay, yeah, not, I mean, not really. <laughs> okay, I'll probably just run from wild battles unless it's uh, something cool that we can catch, but let's fight this girl. Uh, what is your battle strategy? Is it foolish to, it is foolish to use strong moves indiscriminately. Indiscriminately? Indiscriminately, okay. Ace Trainer Kelly, she's got three Pokemon. First up we have a Maril at level 27. Okay, that's kind of annoying for Lapras. Um, we'll go with a Body Slam. Not quite, okay. Aqua Ring is not gonna do anything. Uh, oh, oh, restored its HP, oh shoot. Oh, barely. Okay, we'll go for another Body Slam. And then I think I'll switch out. I'll switch out to uh, Ampharos, maybe, depending on what she's got coming up next, but... Oh my god, the experience is nothing. War Turtle, okay. Cool, I like War Turtle. I like fighting Kanto starters, I don't know why. <laughs> it's probably just brings back memories. Um, we'll go for Ampharos, since it'll be super effective. Only level 24, oh my gosh. What I That's one thing about this game, is that the level gaps at this point are just ridiculous. Uh, 
And Thunder Punch has done it. That was a little better. And finally, another War Turtle. Okay, we'll keep going. I lost. Okay. Wait, I didn't talk to her. <laughs> uh, I'm not for overly powerful moves. I want to win, but I also just don't want to harm Pokemon. Aww. <laughs> That's why she used a uh, Aqua Ring. Oh, is this the photographer guy? Let's get a photo. Just when you least expect it. I'm Cameron Photographer. You look so photogenic. Why not? Yeah, let's do it. You know what? We got the whole team with us. We're, uh, we're through the next chapter of uh, all the gym badges are done, so it's We'll document this moment. Oh, everybody looks so good. Oh, That's a great looking, uh, that's a great looking team right there. Okay, I'm tempted to go down this side, but I think I'm going to keep it to the right. So that way I know which, uh, which parts I've been to. So let's hop down these. Uh, let's fight this guy. I was training here alone. Behold the result of my hard work. Black Belt Kenji Michoke. Okay, well that's good. Just the one Pokemon, a little bit of a higher level. We should get some experience from this. I'm just gonna Ice Beam him. Nicely done, okay. Scyther's at level 41, okay. What I might do, ooh, X Scissor. Ooh, let's see what that is. Uh, is that what I'm thinking? It's a bug move. Oh, hell yes! The user slashes at the foe by crossing its scythes or claws as if they were a pair of scissors. Yes, power 80. Oh yeah, we gotta, we gotta learn that. Um, let me see. Hmm, maybe slash. Or, mm, fury cutter. I don't know about fury cutter. Um, what is, is fury cutter gets stronger but it only has a power of 10, so maybe that's better. So I'm tempted by Slash, but Slash is also pretty good too. It's just because it's, no I don't know. I think I'm more likely to go for Fury Cutter. So yeah, let's get rid of Fury Cutter and learn X Scissor, Scissor, X Scissor instead. Our battle was remarkable. I wish for something to remember you by. Perhaps your phone number will do. My training makes it impossible to chat much, but why not? He'd be a good rematch, actually. We just have to remember where he is. <laughs> I must train harder to become the mightiest. Okay. Um, so if he does call us for a battle, we just have to remember to come down on the right-hand side and we should get to him. So I'm just gonna rearrange the moves right here. Okay, that's better. I'm gonna give the EXP share. I'm gonna take it off Scyther for the moment and give it to Typhlosion because I don't know if Typhlosion's gonna get much battling on this route since it's a lot of rock Pokemon, that kind of thing. So I think he's probably the safest one to hang on to it for now. And we'll keep going. We'll get Lapras to level 40 at least and then we can start swapping things around. How you doing, Lapras? Lapras is happily cuddling up to you. Oh, what a cutie. Okay, so, so cute. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, oh, wait, wait a second. I almost, yeah, let's go this way. I almost missed that. Okay, another hiker it looks like. Yo, you're tough, but you know what? When it comes to sheer toughness, I'm the man. You're challenged by hiker Michael, and he's got a jail dude. Okay, I'm just gonna burn through this really quick with Surf. This is gonna be pretty quick. I'd say his Pokemon are low level, so I'm just gonna burn through this. Or Surf through this, actually, I should say.
Okay, Lapras is at level 40. That's fantastic. We got a bit more experience. Oh, he does have a golem. Oh, okay. I don't know why I was ex I was not expecting that. I thought he might have another... Uh, his Graveler and Golem are at the same level. And Geodude. Okay, great. So he's got the entire line. I can't recall if we've seen a Golem yet. Have we seen a Golem yet? I'm not... I can't remember. But either way, this will be some nice experience. Kind of. <laughs> okay, that's Michael Dawn. My Pokemon weren't tough enough. Boy, do I love HP up. Mmm, yum. I keep drinking my Pokemons, I can't help it. I don't think you're supposed to drink that, you know? <laughs> okay, let's see what this is. Nothing inter interesting. <laughs> Nothing interesting, just a Geodude. Okay, let's see. Have I fought this guy yet? Yes, the best thing ever to happen to me was discovering Pokemon. Okay, that's a guy that I fought already by accident. Um, okay, where's the next ledge? Oh, let's talk to this guy. He's walking around, so... He's not a trainer, I don't think. Have you heard of this place called Battle Frontier? It's a huge place with many battle facilities and is located west of Olivine. Let's see, if you manage to win all the way up through the Pokemon League, you might want to try it. Okay. Um, okay, that's as far as we can go. So I'm going to go over the other side. We're going to keep right for now so that I remember where I've been. Uh, where does this go? Is there an item at the end of here? Yes, PP up. That was a total guess. Um, <laughs> oh, we missed that item. Ah, oh, okay. I hate that feeling of not being able to get an item. Okay, we shall come back, but let's go down. We'll keep going down the right-hand side. We might get a wild battle. Yes. Just another Graveler at level 23. Ooh, Apricorn. All right, we got the green apricorn. This is a cute little pond here. This is kind of a secret, secret pond. I like it. Um, okay, continuing down. That's it. So, nope, no item there. Cross the bridge and... Oh, okay. I think this is... Uh, yeah, this we link up if we go down the middle. So now we're into route 46, dark cave. I'm not going to go into dark cave right now. Um, I will at some point, but not at the moment. And let me see. I'm going to go down. So we're keeping right. Uh, this must be a guy I already fought. It's over. I don't mind. We hikers like that. Yes, I fought him while I wasn't recording. And now are we into... Um, is it back to Route 2 or whatever? This is... Uh... Oh, no, we're still on Route 46. Okay, let's see if we can fight this guy. Oops. Oh! This Jeju is at level 3. So yeah, we are... We are back in the simple... Simple? What am I trying to say? You should try different routes sometime. You never know what Pokemon's going to get. Okay, so this is... Uh, yeah, this is back at the beginning. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to Cherry Grove City. I'm going to grab Pidgey and switch to Pidgey. And I'm going to fly to... Ecritique City. I will come back and do the rest of this route maybe in the next episode. Or, at, you know, when I'm done in Ecritique City. I have to go to see the Kimono Girls, but I can't remember. I don't know if we have to fight them or not. I can't remember if we do. Um, so we might do that instead, just to keep it a little bit interesting. I don't, you, I don't want you guys getting too bored of me just working through one route in one episode. So I might fly to Ecritique City, do the whole Kimono Girl thing. I think they're going to give us like a silver wing or something, but I can't remember if we have to fight them or not. So I'm going to go figure that out right now. And then once we're done with that, we'll see where we're at for time. But for now, let's head to Cherry Grove and grab Pidgey. So weird being back here again and hearing this music again. It's been a long time <laughs> that we, since we've been on Route 29. That was just a little centrish. No need, to, uh, no need to include that. So, okay, let's grab Pidgey. All right, so we've got Pidgey, and now we're gonna fly to Ecrity. So just in case we have to fight them, I'm going to heal and grab Typhlosion before we head in. So I'm just going to do that quickly first. Okay, that's all done. So we got Pidgey swapped <laughs> for Typhlosion and we're all healed. So let's head in to the Kimono Girls. Oh, thud! Never... Okay, how? How is this possible? How can I lose to mere Kimono Girls? So we do have to fight them. Dougie, you were watching me. Uh, that's right. I never thought... 
Defeating five Kimono girls would be so hard. I got beaten to a pulp. You must have come here for the same reason, right? Don't get cocky just because you defeated Team Rocket. These Kimono girls are insanely strong. Go ahead, see if you can defeat them. I'm not going back. I don't want to see you win. <laughs> Dougie, you're such a... Yeah, a word I won't say here. Okay, so we do have to fight them. I don't know why I could not remember if we had fought them or not. <laughs> But obviously we haven't. Welcome, my name is Zuki. I met you previously in Violet City. In order to bring back Lugia, we need needed someone with right bond with Pokemon. We asked Mr. Pokemon to give this mystery egg to whoever showed true potential. The egg was eventually handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm and then to you. However, being pure alone will not be sufficient to face the power of this Pokemon. I must test you. Are you ready? Um, sure. <laughs> I will test how closely you've bonded with your Pokemon. Okay, do we do them all at once? Or is it, uh, is it... Can we do them one by one? <laughs> Umbreon, okay. Um, right, well this is probably not off to the best start. I think, uh, I think level 38. Okay, well, our levels are okay. Let's just go with an Ice Beam. Maybe we can freeze it. Oh, I was gonna do Confuse Ray. I was gonna do Confuse Ray and then I didn't. Uh, he got to it first, or she got to it first. I mean, um, please go. Yes, I speed. Can you freeze the thing, please? Wow, that's crazy. Um, okay, let me see. Let me see. No fairy types. <laughs> so how do we beat Umbreon? What's the best way to beat Umbreon? Maybe like a paralysis or a burn? Maybe we can try and burn it and uh, try and get its HP down that way. We'll give Typhlosion a try. Ooh, critical hit. Okay, you know what? It's not bad. Could be worse. We're gonna go for a Lava Plume. Now please burn it. Please burn it. Ah. Come on, try it again, Typhlosion, try it again. Yes. Okay, we're still not, we're not being burned. Uh, but I don't want it to heal. Let's go for a Swift, it'll go first. Come on, Typhlosion, hit with the Swift, yes. Get it before it can heal, come on. Oh my gosh, <gasps> not last resort, no. Um, oh, wait. Oh no, I was thinking of Destiny Bond. Okay, we're gonna do another Swift. Come on, you can do this, Typhlosion. Yes. Okay, we got Umbreon. Oh, I got confused between that and Destiny Bond. Okay. <laughs> um, nice. Okay. I don't have any Pokemon left. Okay, please, can do we have to do them all? <gasps> we have to do them all. Oh, okay. I did not realize this. I would have saved this for the next episode otherwise. <laughs> My name is Na Naoko. I'm the one that's not so good with directions. My eyes witness you defeating Team Rocket when Kurt was in trouble at the Slowpoke Well. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. So we have Espeon. Actually, I've just decided, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna finish this battle and then I'm gonna end the episode and I'll continue the next uh, the next episode uh, immediately afterwards. Just, uh, it'll just make it easier for me editing, honestly. This will uh, otherwise might take me too long and I am I'm trying to get episodes batched so that I can get my, ep my uploads more regular. Um, so that's what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll wrap it up after this after this battle and then we'll continue on in the next episode so let's just uh, I'm just ice beaming the crap out of this Espeon uh, I feel like once we get Umbreon oh oh my god so close oh, it's gonna heal now once we get Umbreon and Espeon out of the way then the others are a bit more manageable um okay that sucks uh psychic okay that might be Lapras gone oh Lapras is just tanky okay good Espeon is done. That took a lot quicker than I thought. <laughs> oh, you are truly strong.
Okay, so the third kimono girl, you are quite the trainer. So I'm gonna wrap this episode up here because it's uh, getting time now. It'll just make it easier for me editing. I'm gonna wrap it up, but we will continue from this point in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like comment, subscribe if you haven't already. A special thank you to my very first member, Meow Maddie. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. The next few uploads, I will be inserting member shout outs after recording, since I still have quite a few videos that have been filmed prior to me launching a new membership tier. So yes, I have just launched memberships on this channel. There is currently one tier set at $1.99. Should anyone like to sign up and support, you will become a cara, which is the Irish word for friend. And I figured since I start every video with G Eva Korja, or hello my friends, I thought that name would suit. If anyone decides to become a Cara of the channel, you will get a little loyalty badge next to your name, members exclusive emojis that you can use in the comments section. They are mostly Animal Crossing themed and are adorable if I do say so. And the more members that sign up, the more emojis I can add for you to use. And of course you get a special shout out and thank you at the end of every video. So again, a very special thank you to Meow Maddie, the very first Cara of this channel. I appreciate you so much. And I'll see you very soon in the next video. Slanga fool. Goodbye.